We hype. We got our guest here right about now. Hey. Um, with no further ado, where you at, Godfrey? I'm coming here. Sorry about that. Oh, black out. All right. We got our guest, man. Hip hop legend, man. Man. Um, creator of trap music. King of the King of the South. Mm. Man. And the trap man. museum. Got the trap museum. Uh actor extraordinaire. Uh businessman. Activist. Activist. Mm-hmm. Linguist. Podcaster. Podcaster. <laughs> Many uh a entrepreneur. I think we said entrepreneur. Father of attributes. Uh, this man has, and we are we are uh, glad to have him here, ladies and gentlemen. Tip Harris, Ti on the Godcast. What's going down? What's going down? Yo, what's up, uh, man? What up? I ain't never met you, bro, but what's going man, on, man? What's happening, fam? I, man, I'm cooling, bro. Yeah, I'm cooling, man. Thank y'all for welcoming me here, bro. It's an honor and it's a pleasure. You know what I mean? Hey, we 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 glad you could take time out of your day. Could you grace us maybe with uh putting it on um landscape mode? Oh, absolutely. My bad. Oh, wait a minute. Shit. Expeditiously. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, let's see. That's better. There we go. Hey. Right. <laughs> up the screen. There we go. All right. So how you, my brother? Man, I'm cooling, man. Uh, just enjoying every minute of it. You did okay. Where, right. where, where you at right about this time? I know I see heat lamps and <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm, on the, I'm on the patio of a fancy restaurant, man, somewhere on the west coast. Uh huh. Okay. They do it. Oh, somebody <laughs> walking through and they gotta you, you notice how they trip. You can sit down at your table with no mask on, but if you get up and try to walk somewhere. Oh, oh where, you know, that's the strangest thing, ain't it? Isn't that the strangest <laughs> thing? How do you feel that's about the strangest that? Thing. You got to wear a mask from the door to the table, then you take your mask off, and everything's fine. Right, but, but if I get up and go to the bathroom, it's a then problem. you got to put it back on. Because because you breathe in at your table, they say you guys fuck each other up. But then when you, you get up, oxygen right, there, right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't buying it. Hey, anyway, my brother, I'm um, gonna just keep my opinion to myself. <laughs> yeah, we all do. Except minus uh Jamar. He's very vocal with his opinion. <laughs> hey, somebody gotta do it. What you sipping on there, brother? Man, some tequila base. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> tequila base concoction. <laughs> you know, I like I like that brown water myself. You yeah, know. Well, you know, I, I believe it's a reposado though. You know what I'm saying? Reposado, it's brown. It's, that's you know, light brown tequila. You know, uh one of our one of our uh Long-time viewers just started a tequila company, and she sent me some tequila, and it's actually a brown tequila. I didn't try it yet, but she said okay. it's, it's similar to a cognac, so I'm going to try that, see what it's like. Check it out. Yeah, man, you should try it. Okay, all right. So, yeah, uh, man, we got you here. Let's uh, let's get into it, man. Let's get into sure. into your origins, man, your, 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 especially your musical origins. You know, this is a hip-hop-based show. And um, you know, the first one of the first things we always like to ask people is when were you first exposed to hip hop? Mm. And 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 when did you transition from being a fan to a participant? Damn, okay. Uh man, I tell this story a lot, and I even had the pleasure of telling this story to 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 OG man, but one of the first songs I can ever remember hearing, memorizing, and reciting out loud was LL Cool J, I'm Bad. Hell yeah. That was the first song. Hell yeah. That I can recall ever knowing, like, you know, as a kid hearing, oh yeah, that's my song. That was that was the first song for me. So I would like to think that that introduced me into, you know, hip hop as a, uh, I guess, an aficionado, you know, after that song, I was listening for what, what's next. You know what I mean? I wanted to hear, you know, I need love and, you know, yeah. everything after that. You 
Now, what attracted you to that song? Was it the beat? Was it how we were it was the energy, bro? It was it was like the tempo. It, like I could, you know what I mean? It just it it, it, it provided. And then I think I, I remember seeing the video, and I remember you know LL like you know beating up a a, a bunch of a bunch of Italian <laughs> save, <laughs> save the sisters. You know, I'm like yeah, yeah. man, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, did no, you? He had no that? shirt on. Remember, no shirt on. <laughs> nah, man, it with the gold chains. Yeah. And the stuff, though, you know he had I mean? the light skins looking tough, right? <laughs> yeah. Man, that brother looks like me. <laughs> okay, listen, hey, we we was happy. Us light skinned dudes was happy with LL. Shut up. <laughs> now, that's I, mean, bro, I don't right even know right if it. I was old enough. I was maybe four or five years old, bro. I don't know if I was old enough to really see that far into it. I was but the same it, age as L at that time, so I was happy as a motherfucker. Man, <laughs> it, it, it was just, it was an energy that I didn't see or feel anywhere else. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was something that I had, because before then, it was like Michael Jackson, and, you know, you know, you had the Isley Brothers, and, you know, just stuff like that. Maybe the Whispers, you know, like stuff that my mama would listen to. This was the first time I felt like I was discovering something that was for me. Mm. And that's how I felt about hip hop as well. Um, so, but being four or five years old, you didn't have the connection that the baseline was from the cartoon Courageous Cat and Minute Mouse, did you? Hell no. Nah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that you later found out tonight, or did I just put you on right now? Yeah, man. I was today. You ain't know that. <laughs> did, did you know that, Pat? Did you know that since then, though? Or did I just turn you on to that right now? <laughs> Cause that's where the baseline is from a cartoon I called courageous did. cat and minute mouse and that was courageous cat and minute mouse was like a, a a play on batman and robin mm. oh you mean doom 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 yeah that's from the yeah, cartoon i never heard that okay so i was just wondering because i think that kind of as kids no, we telling we, our age <laughs> was pretty young when that came out so i'm saying the fact that he used that baseline is kind of what pulled us in right. and i was just wondering like but whatever, all right. So LL Cool J. All right. <laughs> old head. Go ahead, old head. Yeah, I'm an old head. You old head. <laughs> you know who the fuck I'm talking about. Hey, hey, yo, we got that from the three stooges. That's three stooges beat, son. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know the three stooges? That's older than courageous cat minute mouth. Hell yeah. Uh oh, I see five. Wait, someone's there. Who is that? That was Big Five in the background. My boy yeah, Five. Shout man. out to Big Five. Big Five on the IT. Okay. <laughs> oh, he on his my IT, IT tech, right? Man, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? My uh -huh. IT tech, man. Big <laughs> Five back there. Hey, man. Shout out to Five for uh, hooking this interview up, man. Making it happen. I that shit. But yeah. what's, what, I, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I'm really excited, you know, what's, when I see you, when the Southern rappers were coming out, it's just so funny because you would, when, the, when you all were coming out, all the Southern rappers, Goody, all you guys were coming out, you wouldn't even think that they would be influenced by the New York scene. Isn't that funny? You know what I'm saying? Right. Your, your styles were so different that the fact that you said LL Cool J, you're like, yeah, New York City. Yeah, well, I mean, when you said the first, and you got to think about it, man. When I was first introduced to hip-hop, man, that was in the early 80s. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all weren't really giving niggas like us the opportunity to get in at the time. So we had to wait until cats like, you know, I, I, I always say, uh... Kilo Ali and Sammy Sam crawl. So Outkast and Goody Mob could walk. Mm. So Tip, Jeezy, and Gucci could run. So Young Thug, Future, and and uh uh let's call it 21 Savage could fly. Like mm. I feel like that's like the generational right evolution. Of of Atlanta rappers, you dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, I appreciate my ability, you know, to contribute. Uh, 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 I'm honored, you know, to have contributed whatever we did, whatever I contributed, no matter how major or minute, and you know, be a part of something that has made it to to such an influential piece of culture and community. Yeah. It's like the hybrid of culture and community. You dig what I'm saying? Um. That's what I feel like trap music is, as, as but the same way I feel like that's exactly what hip hop is as well. It's just kind of like trap music saw where the initial criteria 
wasn't necessarily something that was identifiable to them or to us. So she, we went and made, we went and we went and made a lane that suited ourselves, that suited us, that made, you know what I mean, that that fit what we saw when we walked outside of our doors. You did. Right. Now, now let me just say one thing. I don't think it was necessarily because you said it's y'all, like like it wasn't us that was keeping necessarily. No, I don't mean y'all. Yeah, it was them people that the, the gatekeepers. You understand? Well, that existed up here in the north of the people that ran the radio stations and shit like that. Think about that. That wasn't necessarily us. We was just doing our thing, and they was promoting our shit more than anybody else. But it wasn't like we was saying, "Hey, don't fuck with them niggas over there," because I feel like we like. Uh -oh, well, uh -oh. <laughs> well, I mean, hang on. I, I got okay. Yeah. Tell me something if you feel Listen, that. Now, mind you, let me. Okay, let me hit you with the prerequisite that I spent summers in New York City from 85 to 95. So I would traffic culture right. back and forth from Atlanta to up top and up top back down to the south. So I understand the dichotomy. I, I get the dynamic of both. I know why people who are from where I'm from, uh, why, you know, like they have their own little superstitions, uh, uh, I guess, you know, whatever about people from up north. And I know enough about people up north to spend enough time around people up north to know exactly what their superstitions and what they, you know, their theories are about people from the south. And I get both parts, and, and everybody's a little bit right, a little bit wrong, and a little bit just kind of in their feelings. Everybody is. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not trying to lean on either side. When I'm like, when when I hear people from the south, like for instance, one of the <laughs> one of the biggest fights, man. <laughs> one of the biggest fights that me and my partner, who's no longer with us, man, kept. We got into one of the biggest fights in the world, bro, because he tried to tell me that Master P was a better rapper than Biggie. Man. And I that, that, and I get it, I get it, I understand. But you gotta understand what Master P was doing for us, right? You gotta, you gotta understand what represent what kind of representation that was. Right. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So at the time, I didn't understand why I'm even having this. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Master P. I yes. love what he did for us. I love what he has still been able to do. I was gonna say and continues to do. Uh huh. But mm -hmm. exactly. But now, sitting in this seat, as you know, you know, as I guess looking back, I see what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Like Biggie's the best rapper for Brooklyn. Master P is the best rapper for us right now. You see what I'm saying? That's what he was trying to say. Right. But he didn't have an opportunity to say it. It's just like if I give y'all, if I get each and every last one of y'all the kindergarten picture of your class, graduating picture. It's the first thing you're gonna do. You're going to find yourself. You're going to find yourself in it. You right. dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with music or movies or anything else. If you ask someone's opinion, it's going to be based right. on what their experiences are. They're going to try to find themselves. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. right. So I understand both sides of it. And I've argued on both sides. Right. Well, to I your credit, go ahead, go ahead. Go I will ahead. say to, to to your credit, Tip. I will say now, me, you know, being way younger than Jamar, <laughs> no, like <laughs> oh. when I, no, okay, no, no. when uh when I started like analyzing hip hop growing outside of New York, like as as far as like the New York bees, like we're we were always looking for like a certain lyricism, right? And I think when it came to listening to artists from other regions, mm. that would probably most likely, especially for me, that would be the first thing we would look for. So sometimes, you know, sometimes we didn't, unless you travel to those places, you didn't get their slang, you didn't get their dialect, you didn't get their, you know, certain colloquialisms like didn't resonate. But, but then there are artists like you, there are artists like Ludacris. There are artists like Three Stacks who we would say like, okay, these are Southern niggas, but like they rhyme rhyme. 
so it wasn't it, it it wasn't like at least for me and i know like a lot of my peers like when we came when it comes to critiquing and analyzing other artists it wasn't really like ah uh, you know nobody fucks with new york art or you know east coast is where it's at like we just always like wherever you're at wherever your slang is whatever your accent is it's like we still want to hear a certain level of of lyricism you know what i'm saying i can respect that i can respect that but i'm gonna tell you something though right even though what you're saying is absolutely valid and absolutely true and i concur with it a hundred a hundred thousand percent because that's what i look for no matter where i go to find music for myself but you have less than illustrious uh, uh skill sets up top as well and oh, for sure Oh, for sure. And they pass on through. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> I for like sure. to say that, you know, let's just say, like, <laughs> I say this all the time, but but, but look, let, let's just say, right. You said less than illustrious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these are the facts. Yeah, you ain't lie. Lie. No lies told. Fact. You have to be superb and superior to break out of. <laughs> where we came from during that time. You got to be the best of the best, the cream of the crop, creme de la creme. You got to be that. Whereas it felt like for a long time that all you had to be was from New York. From New York. <laughs> hey, look, brother, I'm, I'm from Jersey and I feel it's like not that. like that anymore. Right. You know what I mean, and I think that is the point that a lot of people make when I when I when, when this conversation comes up. That is not like that no more. Real so quick, the light it. behind you is distorting. Yeah, you. yeah, That's something's cool. going on with the man, light. I can't help it, man. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to keep it all the way a thousand, okay? So my phone going dead. Oh, so man. Five oh. done hooked up the extension cord, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So he got the extension cord, so it reached back to right here. Gotcha. Did they just so dig the everything. Hey, it's much more comfortable for me where I was. Right, 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 right. I'm just trying to make sure I don't interrupt the broadcast. Well, right, it looks right. like it looks like you are emanating light, bro. Real you know what, man. Hey, what God intends, chakras. You got that knowledge not coming out of you, bro. What God intends, we must not interfere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate, do we just nigger rig some shit? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, we did. We made it happen. We made it happen. Made it happen. We made it happen. Right. We made it happen. <laughs> That's how we do. 